Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Silent Hill 2. You are here with Morris, and at the end of the last part, we just encountered the young man, Eddie, who, uh, you know, he's throwing up, and that's pretty much his entire character so far. Although, he's throwing up quite a lot, and there is a... Oh, this leads outside. There is a dead guy who appears to be in some kind of fridge-freezer <laughs> compartment. Um, but yeah, there is a there is a dead guy right there, and he is thrown up in the next room, and immediately he's like, Oh, I didn't kill him. I didn't do anything. I didn't kill him. Kind of leads... While throwing up, so it kind of leads me to believe maybe, maybe he had something to do with that. <laughs> I don't think it's too obvious. But, uh, oh, well, I definitely can't get that door open. I don't think it's too obvious, but I think the implication is he had something to do with that. Nonetheless, we have more investigations to be on with here. I can't see a thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, come on. I got hit by so many of those so far. Uh, oh, why does the plank just goes through them half the time? Honestly. Also, I'm kind of knocking them back, so I think that's... Uh. Playing a little bit of a factor in, uh, in my constant misses there. Anyway, that guy's down. Aha. Uh -huh. Hanging bullets. Yeah, I kind of want to save as many as I can, because these enemies aren't that tough, really. It would be better. I mean, these uh, this controller is old. <laughs> this is an old controller. I remember when I got these controls, actually. Two for a tenner. Can you believe that? Two for a tenner. Couldn't believe it. And that was a game as well. They're not known for such deals. There's nothing inside. Okay, let's uh, let's check, check the map. Shall we? I think this is just for bullets. Um, can't get that door open, can I? All right, so I guess back out to the courtyard. I know there's items in there. There has to be. There just has to be. Where the hell's a fire escape? <laughs> Holding this key, and I can't do anything with it. Alright, let's head back outside. Also, have a coin as well. I have to remember that. Oh, now it's an. Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't even realize I'd come to this door from another side. <clears throat> Unless I haven't. And it was just straight up. Oh. Oh, okay. It was kind of. Linking everything together. Well, that's nice. You know, I've been playing um, a lot of uh, a lot of Bloodborne lately, um, and that game is just awesome for kind of. Uh, I guess I guess it would be. Well, they're just shortcuts, really, aren't they? Like you, you're in an area, and you're like, I don't know where the hell I am, and I'm so far away from it. Oh God, I know exactly where I am. <laughs> like it's just that immediate sort of reaction, and I kind of got that feeling from that just then. That's very cool. Thank you, Silent Hill. This will be the last time I thank you. Alright, let's go outside. So yeah, there will definitely be stuff out here. But not through that gate, apparently. But yeah, two for a tenner on these controllers. They're kind of uh, showing their age a little bit now. Though. Fancy a swim? I do not. Anything over here? Oh god. Oh, I fell. I fell in. I'm just in. Oh, is there something in there? I put something in there. Oh, I got something. Oh, no. God. Can I get out anywhere? I cannot. Go, 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 go. What did I pick up then? I skipped ahead, so... Oh, it's another coin. A snake. Snake! Large coin imprinted with a snake. I found it in a pool with no water. I am losing health. Like, it's going out of fashion here. Look at this. Back to green. I'm actually losing a bit too much health. I'm not loaded with health drinks like I was in Silent Hill 1. 
Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's amazing how many health rings there are in that game. When you know how to fight things, it's unbelievable how many you just sort of stockpile them. When I did that second video, I went through the whole game again. It was like, I barely got hit once. So I just had like 30 odd health rings and loads of first aid kits and everything. It was rather impressive. It's <laughs> a shame I didn't record any of it. Ah, uh, apart from the stuff for the video, of course. Um, there wasn't actually that much footage, strangely. Anyway, enough of that. Okay. So, what have we established? Well, we have two coins. Question is, where do said coins go? Oh, I actually didn't go in room 210, like I was going to before I got interrupted by the screams. Uh, which you'll forgive me. I would head for 210. It doesn't seem to be... I don't know where the fire escape is. I do not know where the fire escape is. Unless it's on that floor. Or to the left, that locked door. Either way, we're heading back inside. So let's do that. I mean, in terms of sort of your basic gameplay, this does have uh, that very Silent Hill satisfying feeling of progression whenever you uh, you know you find a key item or you unlock something or anything like that. And like I say, opening up that shortcut all, all seems very uh, organic, all very natural. So I can't remember if this was locked or if the thing was broken. I don't think it was broken. Yeah, here we go. Fire escape key. Alright, I'm going to head to 210 just because I keep <laughs> getting distracted. There might be nothing in it. I don't know, but just because I never, I've never explored it with this torch equipped. So, I gotta see. Should get there sometime next week. No, here we go. I was really confused by like the layout and everything in this place. Ah, this is much better. Hello! Handgun bullets. Yeah, you straight up looked at them that time. Oh, here we go. He's looking at something else also. Oh, more handgun bullets. Nice. Yeah, even if it's just... <clears throat> even if it's just different items, like nothing essential, I'll still take it. Of course I will. To suggest otherwise is madness. There's nothing to do here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad. Glad you don't need the, the toilet right now. Oh god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. You, sir, madam, sir. I've had enough of you already. Why am I missing? Why am I missing every time? My attacks are just going through. Oh god, I'm getting very disorientated here. There we go. Now we got a rhythm. You. And this is a cupboard of nothing. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. There was no, like, radio static until you entered that room. Whoa, hey, hello. There's a newspaper on the ground, but there's nothing interesting written in it. Say that about most newspapers. If not all newspapers. <laughs> There's nothing in here, just an enemy. Shit. Well, never mind then. So that's the way out, yes. And there's nothing else here either. Okay, well, a few handgun bullets. That, that, that's enough for me. Alright. Let's jump down the fire escape. God, that's weird. <laughs> I guess if they're stationary and haven't seen you, then no static. I didn't know that. <clears throat> I have no wish to engage these things, though. Alright, 
go. Well, all right. This is an experimental kind of fire escape. There's a fire? What? Fucking jump out the window then. <laughs> there is no fire escape outside the door. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. Go for it. You're telling me they bothered to kind of plaster over doors that led into actual hotel rooms but didn't bother to plaster over the fire escape that leads to nowhere? Well, alright then. There's an old broken down bed here. Broken down bed here. This bed needs a new engine. I kind of remember this place. I remember that I... First time I did this, I got stuck because I missed an item that was in here. God, that is... Look at that. I lived in student accommodation for a long time. Not anymore, but I, I've never seen anything quite like this. I've seen some stuff, but never anything quite like this. It looks like there's something stuck in the toilet. Yeah, you, you, you telling me. <laughs> looks like there's a catalog of things stuck in that toilet. Oh, just put your hand right in there. Don't even think about it. Looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo in it. 14, 19, 12, 01. There's nothing else interesting. <laughs> there's no point in looking anymore. This text is so good. Gives it that extra bit of personality. Safe. My god, this is the evil within. Oh, okay, that'll be the, the number will be the combination of the safe then, won't it? Uh, where am I? Like, documents. Do I have... Oh, memo. There we go, at the bottom. Wall scratches. Wallet in toilet bowl. <clears throat> That's what I want. 14, 19, 12, 01. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, okay, so 14. <clears throat> oh god, okay, let's go around again. <laughs> 14. 19. 12. One. Okay, I'm guessing it was the other way. <laughs> is, that, is that right? I think I got the directions mixed up there. <clears throat> let's double check that one last time. I think that's what those arrows are, aren't they? Totally didn't realise. Okay, yeah, 14. Okay, right. Fourteen, nineteen, twelve, one, nine. Okay, so where's fourteen? Give me fourteen. I demand fourteen. You speak to me now. Fourteen. Alright, boom, 14, towards 19, towards 12, towards 1. I don't get this. How do I work a safe? I know, I don't operate safes. I don't get it. I don't get what this puzzle is. <laughs> It's staring me in the face and I don't understand how you do it. God damn it, I hate puzzles like that. Let me check the rest of this room and then we'll come back to this. Health drink, give me that. Down it in one. I don't even care. Give me the energy I need to crack this safe. I don't have a map of this area. Oh god, I didn't even realize. <clears throat> I bet the map is in the safe. <laughs> Just to taunt me. Oh, ooh, wait, what's the newspaper page on the ground? It looks like it's from long ago. There's nothing particularly interesting written in it, and yet you felt the need to point it out. I 
actually don't. Oh, there's the door. Okay. All right, let me look at this note one last freaking time, shall we? Wallet in toilet. Toilet wallet. I didn't realize I'd have to interact with a toilet wallet so many times. So is it 14 all the way around to 19, all the way back around to 12 to 1? Or what? Because is it right as in right on the D-pad or is it right as in right on the on the dial? Because that's kind of confusing. 14, 19, 12, 01. 14, 19, 12, 01. I will never forget that. What was it? 14, 19, 12, 01. Okay. Okay, so 14, right. So if it's right on the D-pad, then that goes left on the dial. 19. 12. I'm doing it wrong. I keep going overboard. 1. Okay, hang on. Let's try, let's try that again without fucking it up. Okay, 14, right. Do I have to press a button when I'm here? 14... Leave it on there. 12. 1. Okay, that's not it. Okay, 14. Hangin' bullets, wow, that guy was saving for a rainy day right there. So, okay, so there's no there's no map, is there? Maybe it was the map I forgot, because I, I there was something in here that really, it just fucked me over so much because I never picked it up. And I had to look up, like a walk... Oh god, I went back through the door. I had to look up, like, a, a, a proper walkthrough. Because I just could I didn't know where I was or where to go. Oh god, I don't want to have to watch this again. This episode's going really well. <laughs> hey, we knew we'd get to this point. It just all falls apart. Hey, the only way is up. The only way is up. Come yeah, on. Let's try that again. Oh, he closes the door behind him. What's the point? <laughs> Can we skip this? Yeah. We, we get it, James. Thank you. All right, well, I mean, he's not looking at anything else, and I don't appear to be interacting with anything else, so. Maybe this is it. I just, I'm being really thorough, because I just don't want to miss it, that's all. I've run past it a hundred times already. People screaming at me, I don't know. I apologize. <sighs> don't hate me. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where? Where? Come to me. That's right. No, no, no! Oh, I'm knocking them out of range. There you go. Is that how we do? That's how we do. I don't even know what that is on the floor. Got kind of grease. Feels like grease. Okay, maybe there's a map on the wall or something. Oh, what's this? Can't get the door up. I think that's just boarded up. And that one is broken. So yeah, we have no map, so we just gotta keep an eye out for doors. There's a map. Nice. <clears throat> it must have been this then that I didn't pick up. Beautiful Blue Creek apartment. I got a map of the West Apt. Good. I'll go back in here and explore the rest of this corridor as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to cough away from the mic. 
<laughs> to disguise my unprofessionalism. So yeah, I spoke, uh, you know, briefly in the first part about how I wasn't going for any, any specific ending. And that's certainly true. Um, you know, I'm not playing in a way that would <clears throat> that would lead me to what I mean, I don't know the conditions. I know it's I know vaguely the conditions. It's about how often maybe you check certain items, how quickly you heal, how you treat other characters as well, I believe is in there. Um ooh, exit. That's exactly the kind of door I need wait, no, that's that's where I went. Never mind. But uh I don't know specifically the conditions to get any given ending. It's locked. And I can hear something. There's a note stuck on the door. Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. <clears throat> I'll be back as soon as I can. So please watch the place while I'm gone. God, this music. These enemies. This is way too good. <laughs> Lord, you are slime. So there is a thing on the first floor, in the room <coughs> next to the first floor stairway, so let's head down. So yeah, not going for any uh, specific ending, um, but the way the endings work, like as I've described, is, is all, it's all through gameplay. And that's just, you know, incredible. Um, the way they, <coughs> the way they work it. Still don't really know of any other game series that does it as effectively as this. Can't get the door open. But it's not about the choices you make via some convoluted dialogue wheel. Or maybe not so convoluted dialogue wheel. You know, it's not about <clears throat> being good or evil. Good or evil aren't really concepts that exist in Silent Hill. <laughs> I don't believe so anyway. Oh god, oh god, what is that? Bugs. <laughs> That has to be what that was. And you know what? Maybe I'll use that make it. Yeah, nice and healed up. Is that a save? No. I just wish it was. But yeah, I don't know any other series that, that does that whole... <clears throat> you know, it. it's basically... Uh, I don't know how much I talked about it. Because it's been a while since I did that Silent Hill 1 um, playthrough. But these games, they give a, they give the player just an enormous amount of respect, you know? I think when, you, uh, when you're giving players choices, that's fine. But I've spoken, you know, I'm, playing, I'm still playing the Game of Thrones game at the moment. And Telltale, say what you want about him. But just play the game honestly. Play the game as you would play it, you know? Don't try and go for anything particular. Just do what you believe to be correct you know <clears throat> in your mind not don't try and get inside the game's world of what is correct otherwise you're doing it wrong i think there's nothing in the bookshelf that looks like it would be of any use books <laughs> who needs them oh god i thought something I, oh a save point nice and that's broken good this is a safety room oh, god <clears throat> i think Four, eh, maybe five saves, I think it'll be enough for the old rotation on this one. But yeah, it gives the player enormous respect. Because it's not about, like I say, making the choices that are often presented in such an obvious way. It's just about playing the game. It's all done through gameplay. None of it's through cutscene or anything like that. And you're kind of asking a lot of the player as well when you do that. You're kind of saying to the player, you know what, do it the way you want to do it. We've made this, now you just go in and solve it how you will. <laughs> These rooms are messed up. going quite deep into this. 
And this has to be a cutscene. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say, please don't crash. Oh, it's you. Yep. Good old me. Yeah. I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela. Okay. This theme tune is so I good. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. Given the shit going on around here, it's probably a good idea for you to keep the knife. <laughs> I got a coin prisoner. So yeah, this uh, can I just say this this, this soundtrack is is unbelievable for this game. The painting is displayed here. There's nothing of particular interest. And again, we have a nice mirror shot here in a cutscene which uh, serves to sort of examine what both characters are doing here. And it's the first time that James actually, you know, he gets the photo out and he's like, hey, this is actually my wife, have you seen her? Oh, he doesn't even ask, actually. James takes quite an interest in uh, what's going on, well, and the reasons why everyone else is here. <laughs> but often tries to do it, he sort of... He almost deflects... Like... From what he's doing here, you know? Like, it's not just a case of I'm looking for my wife. He's like, oh yeah, she died. I don't, I don't really know why I'm doing here. Again, it's that kind of, it's not as, it's not as clear cut, you know? And there's 
also a lot more to that woman as well, but uh, again, it all it all kind of comes up later. <laughs> am I in regards to anything right now? Okay, there are a lot of doors left. To oh, I like how it folds over. That's quite nice. I don't know why I went to that big map, but I like how it folds over and becomes part of like that. <laughs> That's a really nice little touch. Must be a bit awkward having to do this. Like James constantly folding maps and trying to hold them and be like, where the hell am I? Anyway, I'm going to have to pause it for now, guys. But thank you very much for watching this episode of Silent Hill 2, and I do hope you join me for the next part, where I'm sure we'll make some good progress with the, actually getting the hell out of this apartment complex. It's starting to freak me out a little bit, a little bit too much. Uh, but yeah, please do join me for the next part, guys. And I will see you in a bit. See you later.